Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tom Spark and welcome back to another video. Today we're checking out the GLMT1300 wireless router, travel router from GLINet. This thing is a portable beast, costs only $70, so you can find it on their website. Um, they sent me this router to review, not sponsored or affiliated with them or anything like that. Just thought it would be interesting to give you guys my honest opinion on this little bad boy since it's fully VPN capable, fully Tor capable, and let's decide how capable it really is in this honest, objective review. Now guys, if you haven't already, go ahead and check out vpntierlist.com. This is kind of like the central hub of the channel, where I list out all the resources for you guys to help you pick the best VPN service. Anyways guys, back to the video. One more thing, if you guys want to help support the channel, make sure to click on some of the links in the description or the comment down below. Hey guys, so looks like I just got the GLMT1300 barrel pocket size router. Uh, just came in the mail. Uh, yeah, this thing looks pretty sleek, pretty minimal packaging here. We're gonna have to break open this bad boy, see what it's like. It kind of has like this old, almost kind of antique style to it. It reminds me kind of those big box refrigerators, but we're gonna have to see what it's like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, bruh. All right guys, so this is what the unboxing experience looks like. It looks like we got some pretty uh, basic settings here. Um, instructions are nice. Um, we got some uh, support stuff, just stuff how to you know, repair it, reset it, warranty, whatnot. And here it is itself. This is actually bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So this is what it looks like. You got the WAN, two LAN ports, USB and power. It's a nice color, pretty light blue. Interesting thing here. It almost looks like you can open it, but I don't think you can. And then, of course, probably uh, has the rest of the stuff in here, like the cables and all that junk. One funny thing about the power brick included, it's like this, and it has like this weird adapter you had to put over it. Maybe, I don't know, it's different in Hong Kong or something. Who knows? All right, guys, so here's the new router set up. Um, and one of the older ones that is actually still pretty new, still works pretty good. You know, haven't had any problems with it either. Um, but yeah, I have that one there, sitting there, and then this is the new one. Obviously the new one looks a lot cooler with this nice futuristic light. Um, very nice design there, nice touch. You can see it's on a little bit easier than on this one. This one just had like the green lights. So from a physical perspective, I think it's a pretty good look here. So guys, how exactly does this little router perform? Well, actually pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I have a $600 router or so that I test with my iPhone, and around there, I get around 300 to 400 megabits per second, which is pretty good for a gigabit kind of router. Now with this one, using the 5G connection, I get around 150, 160, 170. Um, sometimes I get around like 120 megabits per second, and you can see that in the speed test here. And then testing with WireGuard, the really impressive thing with um, both the router itself having good WireGuard implementation, but not only that, if you choose the right VPN provider with good WireGuard speeds and servers like TorGuard, you're gonna get sometimes virtually not any change at all with your speeds. So that's really impressive and really well done, both from TorGuard and this router itself being very good as well. So guys, honestly, one of my favorite things about GLI Net, these routers, um, the whole software kind of experience is really, really polished. Um, I did have some issues controlling the router from like my internet um, browser. I couldn't get WireGuard installed correctly. And I was looking around on their website and I found out that GLINet actually made a really good application where you can control the router from your phone. I was like, yes, this is exactly what I need. And the application works exceedingly well and fixed all my issues. So pretty much what you can do is go into the application itself connect to the router, and then just do control local device. It's already gonna find it, and it will set you up very easily. I already set mine up, so there we go. From here, you can see everything about the status, the clients that are connected, statistics to enable real-time speed and traffic statistics. Not only that, but you have plugins like VPN, um, VPN policies, which is a little bit more settings to configure. You even have Tor access, so you can use this thing as a little Tor box. Use the Onion router for all your kind of internet use. Maybe sometimes you want to have this connected um, to something. You have something else connected. You could switch back and forth, you know, if you want to just always stay secure within the Tor network. This is probably one of the best ways to remain truly anonymous on your computer. 
Um, just always staying connected to something like this would be a great way to do it. Again, like I said, you have WireGuard. I did get it working. It's pretty easy. You have different options here with a couple different VPN providers with support. Or if you're like me, you want to use TorGuard since it's the best VPN here on the channel. I just used their WireGuard config generator, downloaded a file, uploaded it in here, and connected, and it was as easy as that. So guys, as you can see, it's a very good experience here very easy to use and that's probably my favorite thing about this router so far now guys in summation let's go ahead and talk about the barrel router is this thing worth buying well let's talk about the pros and cons number one the barrel is very affordable it's only 70 dollars which is an excellent price cheaper than most routers out there and i think it's priced at a good point for you know what you're getting GLINet does have more powerful routers on the website that aren't so travel friendly, but you're going to have to pay a little bit more and sacrifice some of that portability. One of my favorite things about this router and just the overall brand itself is that it has really mastered the easy setup experience from the website to the really well designed application that you can use on your phone. It's super easy to set up, but it's also really good with built in Tor access as well as built in WireGuard and OpenVPN support really well done here and probably one of the easiest ways to set it up and this is probably my go-to brand for setting up vpn routers um you know whether you want to use streaming ips tour guard or really any other vpn some of the natively supported ones will be even easier to start up with um, maybe not as good on the tier list um but very solid there it's also very travel friendly as you can see here um, very small and it looks really good as well i think they really knocked it out of the park with this design i really like the cool light here they added in and it's not an eyesore which is you know hard to say for a lot of routers out there i think they really do a good job with the minimalist design here you know he might not care too much about that but you might you might be surprised at how like when you unbox this thing you're like wow this this is pretty cool uh, I also think it's plenty powerful for, you know, the price and what you're getting. Um, you know, if you have somewhere around 170 megabits per second internet when testing it on speed tests, this thing is going to be plenty powerful for all your needs. In fact, when I started doing VPN reviews, just like two years ago before I upgraded and was, you know, doing a little bit better on the channel, I just kind of was satisfied to have like the most basic internet connection here in the United States from Comcast. You know, I was able to download things fine, watch 4K, things fine. And that was around the speeds that I'm getting with this router here. So this would be perfectly suitable for someone with like that basic internet connection um, since it's plenty powerful enough for that. If you do have like a gig now, like I do, it might not be powerful enough. You know, it did kind of cut my speeds maybe by a third or in half. Um, but I think, you know, for most people, it's going to be fine for, you know, those kind of speeds. That's probably really the only con um, that I could really think of that it did kind of impact my speeds quite a bit. But I do think that it is plenty powerful enough for the cost as well as the just overall general product itself. Anyways, guys, thanks to GLNet for sending me this bad boy. Not really sponsored or affiliated with them yet. Um, I don't really plan to be sponsored. You know, maybe someday I'll be an affiliate and you guys can help support the channel by checking them out. They have their products on Amazon as well as the website itself. If you do want to help support this video and um, this channel monetarily, you could check out um, TorGuard's WireGuard option. That does work really well here. Of course, other VPNs do as well, but I haven't tested those yet. So thanks for checking out this one, guys, and I'll see you again very soon. Let me know if you want to see more router-based hardware videos like this, and I'll make more. All right, see you later.